Hey everybody, this is Daniel at fitnessblender.com and today we're going to be doing a short but intense hit routine. We're doing 12 different exercises and we're doing a Tabata style of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. But before we do that, we need to get our warm-up started. Alright everybody, for our warm-up we're going to be doing 6 different exercises and we're doing each one of them for about 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first one is going to be just a nice side step with an arm cross swing. So nice and slow, you're going to bring those arms across in front of your chest as you step side to side. So go ahead and start it up. Start with a relatively limited range of motion. Don't try to swing those arms too hard. As you start feeling like you're starting to limber up a little bit more, feel free to start moving a little bit more into that range of motion. So really try to cross those arms in front of your body, alternating which one comes over top each time, making sure you're stretching those arms back behind you each time. Our next one is going to be a high knee march. And switch it up, so get those feet Going nice and slow to begin with. Focus on that range of motion, driving that knee up as high as you possibly can each time. If you want to get those arms into it as well, get a little extra stretch to that shoulder. You can start speeding up that motion with those legs a little bit, but mainly focus on trying to get as much range of motion out of this as possible. Next one is going to be a squat circle. And feet just a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. You can go down to one side, squat through the center, back up to the middle, back down the opposite side. Start again with a limited range of motion. Wait until those knees and hips start warming up a little bit, and then start working in to as much of a range of motion as is comfortable. About 10 seconds left. Moving into a boxer shuffle, go ahead and stand back up. Get those feet moving. Start warm up those calves a little bit. You should feel your respiration rate start to increase a little bit. You should start feeling a little bit more warm. Probably not quite breaking a sweat yet unless you're in a hot room. Otherwise, just kind of slowly letting that heart rate increase, letting that breathing rate increase. We've got up and outs next. Five seconds. So keep that mo motion going with those feet. But you're gonna bring that knee up and out to the side. Try to keep your hips straight forward. Staying up on that toe, moving nice and quick. These last two exercises are gonna be a lot faster than the rest of these warm up ones. Try to get you ready for that hit routine. Try to move a little faster if you can. Still trying to focus on full range of motion through that leg. And jumping jacks, start out nice and slow. Focus on keeping that arm nice and rigid. No bent elbows, you want that arm perfectly straight out. Keep that shoulder rigid, nice and slow at first. And then as you get control over it, start speeding it up. Keep everything nice and rigid, lungs open, no holding your breath. Five seconds left. and let it relax. All right, that's our warm up. We'll be right back starting that first round of the hit routine. All right, let's go ahead and move into our hit routine. For this one, we're going to be a Tabata style of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Each exercise we're gonna do twice, so two sets per, and we're just gonna run down the list. So let's go ahead and get this timer started. We're starting off with pop squats, something a little bit easier. Two, one, feet down, come together in the center. So a nice wide squat, touch the ground, then bring those feet in, a little pop in the middle, and right back out again. Keep that back nice and flat, just like you would for a traditional squat. All right, back to that boxer shuffle. If you want to, you can make it a little bit slower to help yourself catch your breath in between. Otherwise, try to keep it a little bit more active. All right, again. So this is the last round of the pop squat, and then we're gonna be moving on to high knees for the next one with just that same 10 second break. Keep those lungs open. All right, back to that boxer shuffle. High knees are next. Focus on trying to drive those knees up as high as you can rather than trying to move as quickly as possible. And start up. So start slow to begin with. Get yourself comfortable with the motion. Then if you want to, you can always start speeding it up. 10 seconds left. Keep 
those lungs open. And let it relax. Boxer shuffle again. Another round of those high knees. And start them up. So focus on driving those knees nice and quick. Mainly, try to get those knees up. Five seconds. All right, walk downs are next. So you're gonna step off to one side, walk out with those hands, push up the bottom if you want. So walk them out, do that push up if you want to, it's optional, then walk it right back up. Hands over your head, back down. So limit to just a plank. If you want a slightly easier version, Relax, back to that boxer shuffle. So we're gonna do one more round of those walk downs. Now to use the motion, try to do it a little faster. Back to that boxer shuffle. Last round of those, we're moving to burpees next. So all of you should know how to do a burpee by now. You do any of our workouts. So down, get those feet out, jump at the top. That jump at the top is extra. If you don't want to, it's just hands overhead. Back to that boxer shuffle. Keep those lungs open. Nice full breath. And start again. Keep those feet moving. We're moving on to lateral jumps next. Stay low and focus on trying to jump left to right as far as you can. Nice, slow, controlled motion at first. Focus on getting that motion down. Then you can always start speeding up. Focusing on get, getting a little bit more of a jump each time. All right, back to that boxer shuffle. One more round, that lateral jump. Start up. Keep those lungs open. Don't hold your breath. All right, so last one of those. We have one exercise left until we get that first break. Doing star jumps. Start them up. Squat down nice and low. Explode, hands and feet up and out. Lungs open. All right, keep those feet moving. We've got one more round of those star jumps. Nice full deep breath. Start him up. Try to get as much of an explosion each time. Five seconds. All right, that was the last one of those. We get a little extra of a rest this time, remember? Doing a hit isn't about just killing yourself. It's about trying to do each one of these as clean and as hard as you possibly can. So you don't have to kill yourself all the way through this. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break. I'll see you in just a second.
All right, guys, one group left, another six exercises. Again, doing uh, two rounds of each exercise. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So let's go ahead and get our timer started. We are going to be starting in to a plank to push up. So we're going to be down in a push up position. Start with a full push up position. You've got drop down onto those elbows and then right back up again. Whichever hand you finish with is the next one to come right back down again. So finish, start back over. This way, you're always alternating which hand is doing the work. All right, back up. Now remember, if you can't quite hold a full plank, you start getting too tired, you can always drop onto those knees. Do the same position that way, but try to hold it in that full push-up position for as long as possible. Down and up. Keep those lungs open, keep that back flat. Try not to let those hips kick up in the air too high. All right, back up and stand. Keep those feet moving. We're moving on to a jumping lunge next. Start them up, down into that lunge position. Just alternate back and forth. Get nice and low each time, a little bit of a hop. Just enough to get those feet back to that opposite position. Lungs open, and let it relax. Got another set of those. Start them up. If you start getting too tired doing it this way, just switch into an alternating lunge. Just out and back up, otherwise, Keep that jumping lunge going as long as you can. All right, let it relax for just a second. We have jumping jacks coming up next. Just keep those feet moving. Feet together, arms down your right sides. Start them up, nice clean jumping jack. Keep those arms rigid, keep that shoulder contracted. Don't let those arms and legs just swing around. Go as fast as you can control, as fast as is comfortable on those joints. And let it relax. Got one more round of those jumping jacks. Start them up. Nice clean motion. Like I said, arms out, nice and straight. Keep those lungs open, breathing normally. Don't hold your breath. And let it relax. All right, we're gonna be moving into thigh slap jumps next. Starting in five seconds. Hands can straighten down. Legs come up to hands. Don't bring your hands down. A little easier version is that double hop at the bottom. Harder version is no extra bounce. All right, let it relax. Lungs open. One more round. All right. That was the second one of those. Moving on to the next. It's going to be mountain climbers. Back down that push-up position. Get those feet moving. Whew. This is gonna hurt. Just stay down here, keep those hips low. Move those feet, don't stop. If you get tired, switch to just in and out, but try to keep those feet moving as much as you can. Big, full, deep breaths. Drop down, second round. Whew. 
All right, back up. We got one more exercise, which is going to be a squat jack. These are rough. Down nice and low, hop those feet in and out, try not to come back up. Halfway. Stay down there. Three, two, one. Ooh. Let it relax. You got one more of those. Remember, this is your last exercise. Push as hard as you can. Ten seconds. Keep going. Oh man. Oh, that hurts. Shake those legs out. That was our last one. So we are done. So all we have left is a cool down. Make sure you get that in on your own or you can always tack this routine onto the front of another workout. So other than that, this workout is complete. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.